Hello everyone and welcome back to the garden. Now, uh, this video is not a how-to video, how to grow it or whatever. Um, this actually is a video that was requested by one of you guys over on Patreon. You'll have to bear with me if this is a little scattered and out there because I did not plan to make this as totally an impromptu video. This one is about growing Lava Terra. Now, Lava Terra has always been a little bit challenging for me for a variety of reasons. Uh, first, though some people, I've seen some people call it a hardy annual, that like meaning it can handle a little bit of cold. I have found from a fall planting in my garden and trying it in the hoop house that it is not cold tolerant here in my zone six garden. Maybe I'll try it again in the hoop house in the future, but from my experience that I had a few years back, that stuff did not grow, it did not make it, it was a disaster. So that leaves me with the only option of sowing it in the springtime. So what I did this year is I actually used the winter sowing method. I used our low tunnel and a tray of moist potting mix. I filled it up with potting soil, firmed the seeds into the tray, you know, made sure they came into real good contact with the soil and put that tray into my unheated little low tunnel that I use for seed starting. Again, um, I have a video about that if you want to check it out. Um, link in the cards that you can check the winter sowing video out. But um, germination was great. I did that about the middle of February, early March. And the germination rate of those seeds was actually really, really good. So uh, what I did is I left them in our kind of winter sowing setup for a few weeks, let them get some growth, some nice true leaves, and then about a month before my last frost date here in my garden, I went ahead and I transplanted them into my flower bed. So the flower bed that I used to grow the Lava Terra this year was actually the flower bed that I used to plant the Bells of Ireland in last year. Anyway, um, so I planted them in the Bells of Ireland bed because I'd already thought that the Bells of Ireland weren't going to do well, and they didn't. So um, basically I had these Lava Terra seedlings amongst the weeds and Bells of Ireland and things like that. But fortunately, since we had a very cool, uh, just very beautiful spring this year, those seedlings grew so, so quickly. And uh, within about a few months, uh, by the middle of June, we had some very, very, very beautiful Lava Terra blooms that were just absolutely stunning coming opening up very tall about two and a half feet tall just bright vibrant pink cups we had two different varieties um, I bought one variety from Floret it was called I believe pink Regis uh, there were only a few seeds in there so not as many blooms from that one and the other one I got from Geo Seed, which was called silver cup and there were tons of blooms from that one just because the seed packet was very generous. It probably had 500 seeds in it. And of course, I planted them all because, hello, uh, no self-control when it comes to flowers. Gotta plant it all. Um, but just a very, very beautiful display. I've been enjoying these flowers so incredibly much. Um, if you've never grown Lava Terra before, they really are unlike anything that I've personally ever seen in the garden, the shades of pink and kind of lavender pink, white pink colors, they just seem to glow and they open up and they're so vibrant. Uh, they are very similar to hibiscus flowers if I were to, you know, if I were going to compare them to a flower that a lot of people have grown, maybe something like hibiscus, very similar to that. Just a very, very beautiful addition to the garden. And even though when you're looking at the flowers, they look like they are very much a delicate flower, like they could be really delicate, but they have an amazing vase life. I can easily get, um, you know, a five, five to six days, maybe even a week of vase life out of these flowers if you open them when they are just starting to unfurl. Absolutely gorgeous. I've never had a problem with them wilting or anything. Um, definitely one of those flowers that I think gets overlooked a lot. There's not a lot of hype on the internet about Lava Terra. I don't think a lot of people are really growing it. And they should be. They totally should be. Maybe now that we've made this video, all the other bigger channels will start growing Lava Terra too and have people grow Lava Terra. I don't know. But I think this one is definitely worth checking out, especially if you are interested in growing your own cut flowers and 
kind of expanding your own little cut flower garden in the backyard, I think this one is definitely worth consideration. I know that this video was really short. Um, I think in the future I'd like to explore more about this. Like for example, my spacing on these was about three inches. I think that is a great spacing. Um, that allowed the plants plenty of room to grow, but it allowed them to kind of grow up together and create kind of a mass of flowers that was very nice to look at. I'd also like to explore pinching them a little bit because I, I didn't pinch any of these. They did branch naturally on their own, but I didn't pinch any. And in the future, I think I would even consider using a horizontal trellis netting to support these if I were to make a big mass planting of these. Um, even though the stems are nice and strong and they're nice and tall, I would worry if I planted these out in the open, I would worry if there was a thunderstorm, maybe they couldn't handle it or a very heavy rain, maybe they'd be susceptible to that. Uh, so just definitely something to uh, explore and consider. Uh, they grew very well. I didn't fertilize them or anything. Um, you know, just made sure that I transplanted them into a really nice, uh, good draining, well amended bed. And uh, they seem to really like it and really, really thrive. So I thought I would just share with you guys. Thank you so much to the person on Patreon who wished to remain anonymous who requested this video. Um, it was something I hadn't initially planned on showing you guys, but I'm so glad I did now because uh, I really do enjoy these flowers. I think they're really nice addition. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, you know, something that I overlooked or missed, just go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. I'll, I'll do my best to answer the questions. I have very, very limited experience with growing Lava Terra and I'm always learning something. So hopefully I'll continue to kind of experiment with this flower in the future and continue learning about it so I can be able to help you guys. Um,